art battle came into fruition because we get asked this quite a bit, don't we? And do we give the same answer to the twins? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it it started when John and I had started dating, and um, John organised a lot of music gigs and was taking me to a lot of gigs and things, which was great. But uh, I I loved art, I still love art, but I really loved art and wanted John to come along to some sort of art events. Um, but he was really reluctant because you, you hadn't had much experience no. of art, had you? Uh, and I just felt you were a bit boring as well, to be honest, I thought you were a bit <laughs> low energy. So um, you asked me outright once, so said, why won't you come to my, I always go to your events, why won't you come to my events? And, and then, then that's when we got chatting and I was sort of saying, well, what, what would you go to? What kind of things would you like? And you, was, you said something a bit, bit more high energy where I felt a bit more relaxed. Mm. And That's where the kind of the gist of it came from. And then we set about plotting, kind of mm. creating, a, creating a night where it maybe had the same energy as a gig, the same atmosphere, but art was the focal point rather than mm. a load of musicians stood on a stage. So the first one we actually had to kind of like kidnap our mates who were good artists to take part and beg them and borrow. Uh, yeah, anyone who would like yeah. hand a paintbrush was, uh, yeah. was, probably, <laughs> yeah, was blagged into getting involved and it was a Thursday night wasn't it in the Northern Quarter in uh, 2022 yeah. uh, downstairs and um, we just did it as an experiment really but uh, 250 people turned up so it's full to capacity on we a Thursday night. We thought it was just going to be our friends and family, yeah. we thought it'll be a one-off, we'll have a go, we'll have yeah. some friends who'll paint and and then that'll be it then and it was a really amazing night and people we were, were saying when's the next one we want to get tickets and we were just a bit like oh we were, yeah. <laughs> we were just for about a week after just yeah. in like the whirlwind better than our expectations and the fact i was like just talking constantly about it talking about an art event was really weird wasn't it <laughs> so uh, yeah we thought this was actually without spending a penny on marketing we've got 250 people at midweek um, we're on you know we should we should do this again really and then five years later we've done I think 14 now. Logistically it's all run from home so um, yeah we it gets, it's a hobby for us. It's a hobby, definitely. Hobby. Well, <laughs> Sometimes a hobby that's taken it. over, yeah. yeah. So there's usually three to six months before between battles, isn't there? And it sort of starts off slowly. We find the venue, we get some ideas together, and then it speeds up as mm. as it gets closer. And that's when it sort of takes over our lives and also takes over the house. So the kitchen table's covered in tokens that we're counting, or you know we've got easels out or canvases in the shed yeah. and. We're constantly on the phone to people trying to organise and yeah. reassure artists, <laughs> so yeah. that, you know, and that kind of thing. Yeah, the artist kind of side is, is one element of it. Then you've got um, the production side where some venues we go in and have got everything in house. So, like Albert Hall is a really established venue, they're used to holding big concerts, they've got all the sound, lighting, engineers, they've got bar staff, they've got everything, they've got security. When we go to an old mill, we've got to deliver all that. So now we've built a team of people that work with us. Uh, you know, we always try and get people in who are experts in the field, whether it's sound and lighting, bar, food people, uh, security. We, 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 we have a team of people who we can call on to help us deliver because it's, it's a multifaceted thing. It isn't just rocking up at a bar on a Thursday night anymore. It's got to a level where we need experienced people to help us deliver the event and um, we lean heavily on them people and touch wood they, they generally do the business on themselves. Yeah. Um, the, uh, uh, but this, this doesn't mean that uh, how does it require? We're here today really to scope out the venue before the next star battle. Um, we've never used the same venue twice so every time we come to a venue we, we've got to have a good look at what we're dealing with and, and this is probably one of our most challenging ones. Uh, we're here with the uh, the guy who looks after all the power and lighting requirements. Um, so we're just kind of trying to work out some of the practicalities for the night. Um, everyone always sees like the four hours of the event, but it's like cooking a meal. The devil's in the detail in the weeks before, getting the right people in who know what they're doing to solve all the problems. 
We've chosen this venue because uh, we, we love historic venues and Manchester's blessed on it's got lots of them. Um, this is an old um, cotton mill from back in the day and um, you know it's, a, it's, a, it's very nostalgic really. We, we love kind of bringing people to places that they wouldn't ordinarily walk into. You know it's a little bit off the beaten track this one and that's one of the factors we like that. I can't imagine there's anyone coming tonight unless they were maybe in the textile trade. That, that would have been in this building before. In terms of this particular venue, I mean, this is the 14th venue we've used for, for Art Battle Manchester, and um, every everyone we've made a big thing about telling, telling everyone what the venue is, and we just thought, well, for this one, maybe we'll keep it a secret, so nobody knows where this place is at the moment. We've told everyone it's a, a secret venue, and uh, consequently, the theme is a, a 1990 kind of warehouse party, so what we're going to do is message people the day before to say, this is where the venue is, so just to create a bit of a buzz and excitement. So at the moment there's all sorts of rumours going around about people are saying we're in this place and that place, but no one, no one's uh, correctly pinned the tail on the donkey yet. <laughs> So we're here today, um, we're starting the build for our battle. We've got people uh, arriving with staging, lighting, there's a generator coming because we're in a building with no power. Um, so they great these mills and warehouses, we love doing our battles in them, but they're always obviously a lot more work than a, a turnkey venue. Uh, so yeah, we have to get in early and start doing all the prep work. real opportunity for you to kind of showcase your work um, um, for you to be able to sell some of your existing work and to get commissions and um, all the artwork that's created tonight gets auctioned off and half the money goes to you guys half goes to the uh, the mayor's homeless fund so not only are you doing something that's kind of good fun and you know kind of fit that uh, but you're raising money for a tremendous cause you've all seen the issues with homelessness in Manchester so we, we're really passionate about raising a few quid for those guys um, so, artist number one is Georgia. So my name's Georgia Meek. Uh, my art name is Bubbles. Okay, so my name is George Powell. Um, I'm from Stockport and I usually work under the street art name of The Scribe. Uh, so my name is Robert McCauley. Uh, I started doing caricatures on uh, Blackpool Central Pier a few years ago to get some extra money. Uh, and I ended up quitting my full-time job. Uh, to do it all the time. So I'm Paul, Paul Berryman, I'm from Milton Keynes in uh, Buckinghamshire uh, and I'm a life drawing junkie. I'm Kristen Sharp Young, um, I go by Kristen Grace Art though. Uh, I'm a professional artist, I usually work with portraiture but I'm starting to branch out a little bit more and look at animals and sort of like a looser style of things. So my name is Andrea Hobson and I've come here from Hebden Bridge. I'm painting in acrylics, obviously, tonight, uh, but at home I use watercolour, draw with charcoal. Virtually all the stuff I do is using dry mediums, using charcoal or pastel. But tonight I'm going to paint. I decided to come out of my comfort zone and do something that was going to scare me. So I heard about the art battle. It was pretty much everywhere. Uh, I saw it all over Facebook, social media. My friends have been to them before and non-stop going on about how great they are. The first practice went really well and then I sort of chilled out about practicing until yesterday and practice two and three and four were not as good. Uh, although I'm a really competitive person, I'm competitive within sport whereas my artwork I'm always trying to be more relaxed about it, I don't get worked up about it because um, you lose the enjoyment, I don't try and make money out of it because you lose the enjoyment so if, if I do well tonight then so be it, if I sell some work so be it and just enjoy the night I guess. I have planned somewhat 
but I don't really tend to plan my artwork. I just sort of go for it and do it and see what happens at the time. I think that's the part I'm nervous about because <laughs> I don't really use paint that often. But I figured for this it would be the best thing to do. So. I feel calm at the moment. John said earlier that it's if you've ever done a bungee jump, well, I would never do a bungee jump in a million years. So um, I'm just hoping it's going to be better than that. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, excited, scared, uh, all over the place. But yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> The night itself was amazing. Um, there was a real energy about the, 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 the event. Um, having DJs like Hucky Haslam and, and even Pete Garton, um, it just, just created a real vibe. We're, we're delighted with how it went. It was a huge challenge, probably our hardest one yet. And it's kind of nice now afterwards when we can relax knowing everything worked. Uh, so there's a lot that can go wrong and we, we, we pulled it off. We managed for it all to go to plan and everyone had a good night. So next year for Art Battle, uh, where do we go? We've had um, 14 um, Art Battles now and uh, the pressure's always on what you're going to do in your next one. We've got a couple of ideas for next year, uh, one of which in particular I think could be, uh, could be very impressive. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting year 2019.